everyone. Thank you so much for coming back to Young Artists Club for this week's video. Yay! This week we are going to be investigating sculpture and I was thinking about famous artists and famous pieces of sculpture like you know really big ones, big statues or uh, big sculptural forms and thinking about the materials that artists use to create those sculptures and thinking yeah, I don't really know if we can do that at home because we don't have access to those kinds of materials. I'm thinking about things like um, metal or stone or wood. So all of these materials are incredibly strong and therefore you can make really big, strong sculptures out of them. They take a long time to make and they're very difficult to um, actually carve or bend or cut. So. I was thinking, how can we use things that we have at home to make some strong structures? And I came up with a solution. And what we're going to do today is to make some quite strong sculptures out of paper. So, just talking about ordinary paper here. So I've just got some scrap paper here. I've even got some newspaper here as well. So you might be thinking, how can paper be strong because it's pretty flimsy isn't it when you think about it a piece of paper isn't particularly strong you know you can fold it you can tear it it doesn't stand up by itself let alone support anything but paper is an amazing material because if you fold it very carefully lots of times or indeed roll it you'll actually start to get some really nice strong kind of building blocks or building rods actually that you can start to make strong sculpture from. The first thing I'm going to do is to show you how to make these paper construction rods. So these are the materials you're going to need. Um, just some pieces of scrap paper. So start small and then we'll work up to the newspaper. Um, so any size paper, different scraps of paper. Also going to need some sticky tape. Um, if you have masking tape, that's just as good. You can also paint off over masking tape, which is great, but just some sticky tape and some scissors. And you're going to need something like, uh, a, oh, something like a long paintbrush. You don't need the brush end. What you need is a nice long kind of handle or stick. So I've, I've got a paintbrush here. I've also used a chopstick, which of course does taper a little bit, but that's okay, we can get away with that. Or if you have like a garden cane, that's quite good. Or a long knitting needle, perhaps. Um, something like that. Have a look around, ask your grown-up if there's something that you could use that's it's thinner than a pencil. If, if you've only got a pencil, you could use a pencil, but that's really important. This is another thing you might need, is some blue tack. This is actually white tack. That's really good for helping us to join our pieces of paper together uh, temporarily once, when we're planning what we're doing. So get all your materials and then we'll show you how to make these paper rods.
once you've got your um, paper straws or rods together, I mean, I've only got about eight or so here, but you can make lots more. And they're all different sizes, as you can see. You can start to have some fun making something sculptural with it. So you could be inspired by an artist called Anthony Gormley, who uses metal a lot to create sculpture where you can see through it. So he's sort of creating a space within it. So it's not a solid statue. It's, it's a, an open structure you can see through, and these are particularly good for that. So you can just start to sort of put them together. So I'll put a bit of blue tack on the end here, and you can start to sort of just squeeze them together so you start to get some kind of shape. And then I've actually put this with some sticky tape here and just cut the sticky tape so it's nice and strong. You can start to sort of fit them together just as you like to make some really nice structures. So you can experiment here and you can start to get quite, quite geometric here. Experiment, see what you can come up with. Anthony Gormley has some amazing, amazing sculptures and structures. Some of them are sort of suspended from the ceiling, some of them use the floor to support them. But because they're made of these strong, well in his case metal, but in our case paper, you can start to make these really excellent sculptures. You know, it doesn't matter what you make, you can make your, your own design. So get inspired by Anthony Gormley. I'm going to show you now something else that we made with our straws.
So here I've got two of our spiders that we made behind me. Can you see we have the one here on the carpet crawling towards me Ooh. and the one up on the table here. You can just bounce her body there. We fixed her feet to the table here with a little bit of white tack because we found on the wooden floor and on, on the table she's kind of skidding around a bit. On the carpet doesn't need that because the, the carpet is, has enough friction for the spider to keep quite stable. So here in spiders, I wonder if you'll be brave enough to have a go at making a Louise Bourgeois style spider. Hmm, if not, why not have a go at making your construction rods into something inspired by Anthony Gormley, some kind of open structure, something geometric. I wonder what you'll come up with. Maybe you'll come up with a different kind of creature or animal to make. Do send us photos of your creations. It's always such a joy to see what you've made. I know that you'll come up with some brilliant things because you are a very creative lot. In the meantime, do keep well, keep safe and keep creating. Very important. See you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.